Hi, and this is Terry Van Noy. The, today's video lesson is about inequalities. Now, why is it that we have to switch the sign? Well, let's start by reviewing when you do have to switch the inequality. Now, look at the first example. Negative 3n is less than 12. All right, the question is, do we have to switch less than and make it greater than? Well, in this case, we do because we're going to be dividing each side by a negative 3 because we want n by itself, right? And so n, and then over here, the negative 4. And then a lot of times, without thinking, students will just copy the inequality symbol down. But there is a rule, and that's probably why you're here watching this video, that says you need to switch the inequality. So now it's n is greater than negative 4. The only numbers that solve that inequality are numbers that are larger than negative 4. So why do we switch it? Well, the rule says because we're dividing by a negative. All right, what about this? x divided by negative 2 is greater than negative 4. Well, to solve that, we are going to multiply both sides by the negative 2, right? And so it'll look like this if you're going to show your steps. This negative 2 cancels with that negative 2, and so we are left with x is on the left side and a positive 8 on the right. And is it greater than? Nope, we do have to switch it to less than. Why? Because the rule says we have to. All right, so the solution there is all the numbers less than positive 8. Well, in these two cases, yes, we did have to switch the inequality symbol. So the rule is for inequalities, switch the symbol when multiplying or dividing by a negative. All right. Well, that's an example of when you use the rule. Let's take a look at why. Why does this rule work and that you have to kind of memorize it and use it in your inequalities? All right, I'm going to start with a relationship here that's negative 3 is less than 5. All right, well, we know that's true for sure. We want to be able to do some things to each side of this relationship and keep that a true statement. So. Inequalities are actually um, types of equalities. In other words, we can use the properties of equations in inequalities to solve them. That means that if we're going to add a number to each side, we should be able to still come up with a true relationship. So in this first example, let's go ahead and add 8 to each of these numbers. So that will give me 5 right here and 13 right here. Now, do I still drop down this symbol and say less than? Is 5 still less than 13? Yes. So it is still true. So adding a positive, and to save time, I'll just say a negative. Adding a negative or a positive does not change the inequality. Keeps it true. All right, let's subtract something. Let's subtract 8 from each side here and see what happens there. All right, we still start with a true statement. Negative 3 is less than 5. Now if we subtract equal numbers on each side, that'll be negative 11 and negative 3. Is negative 11 less than negative 3? Think about the number line. Yes, it's further on the left. So it's okay to add or subtract equal things. Keep the inequality symbol the same. All right, now we're going to be going back to multiplying and dividing. In this case, let's keep it simple here. I'm going to multiply both left and right side by negative 1. All right, what happens? Well, I multiply here and get a positive 3, and I multiply here and get a negative 5. Now, I cannot say that 3 is less than negative 5. That's not true. So I do have to change the inequality symbol. All right? The idea is that you have changed the relationship. I started out with a smaller amount on the left and a larger amount on the right. Now by messing with the signs here of these numbers, I switch the relationship. Okay, let's go ahead and divide both of these by a negative 1. In effect, I'm changing their signs. So here, negative 3 divided by negative 1 is positive 3. And over here, 5 divided by negative 1 is negative 5. I can't keep the same symbol less than because 3 is greater than negative 5. So the reason for the rule is because we are switching signs on the numbers, which makes the 
relationship the opposite. And that's why we have to switch the inequality symbols. Less than becomes greater than, and less than becomes greater than in this these two cases here. All right? So thanks for watching this video, and let me know if this is helping you with what you're studying.